I've learned that your mistakes are gifts. Your mistakes are gifts and they're more crucial later. Like the mistakes that you make earlier, you can really learn from them and not make those same mistakes which would have a greater magnitude later in life. One of the biggest challenges is we were talking about is building a brand. And the problem is you, you, you build a company with scale, eventually someone comes and steals the company. You, it always ends up being that brand is, brand is the number one reason why people retain with your company. I think the most important thing if you want to disrupt a category is to really think about the problem you're solving and who you're solving it for. Well, I think it helped um, being an outsider to come in and look at this problem in a, different, in a different way than others had looked at it before. No two entrepreneurs are the same. It's like a snowflake and everybody wants the path and the good news is that the path is really just passion, hard work and your gut instinct. So everybody has that and everybody can do it. I think to be a challenger brand it's, it's obviously challenging that you have to constantly re-innovate yourself. Um, but we love to listen to our customers first and foremost. I myself started the company out of a personal problem that I wanted to solve. Everything that we do as an organization now is via text message. So we've done what we call democratizing our business, and so the decisions are made by the thousand people that work there, not the 10% or even the one person that's the CEO. You truly have to do one thing really well. And when you're building a business and you're developing and thinking about that concept, a lot of different ideas will come at you. A lot of different distractions will, will, will present itself. And it's so important to protect that little fire of that concept or that idea. I think if you want to build enduring disruption, you've got to, you've got to solve the fundamental problem that's facing that particular shopper. And in our category in vitamins, it was compliance, meaning lots of people will try vitamins, but they wouldn't necessarily get the benefit because they wouldn't stick with it day after day. And so for us, it was really important to sit down and try to solve the problem from a 360 degree perspective. My job is sort of the creator or the facilitator of culture. It's very important for me to lead by example and let everybody know that regardless of the position that you hold, it's important that you communicate, you communicate effectively, and more importantly, you listen. You need to know your brand better than the advertisers tell you that your brand or the agencies tell you that your brand is. To take your business to the next level, you have to be an executor. It's the bottom line. You just have to be the one that really gets it done and figures it out and backs up and takes a deep breath and tries it again and tries it a different way and just gets it done. And not to complain and not to explain, just be a go-getter. It's just that simple. I really do think it's back to the fundamentals and basics of, you know, hard work pays off.